Welcome back. We're talking about uh, those New Year's resolutions that you made, how to keep them now that we're a, a few days into the new year. We've got Sonia from Lakeland. She writes to say that uh, last year my resolution was to quit smoking, and although it took some time, I finally did for good in August. This year, my resolution was to save $100 every week. It's really hard because I'm a single mom now, but I am saving where I can. What do you think? Good resolution, though, isn't it? To try and save some money? Absolutely a great resolution. none of us save as much as we should, probably. Uh, Most of us don't. Yeah, that's probably true. But it, again, it needs to be appropriate. What Sonia needs to do is identify what her cash flow is, how much is coming in, what goes out each month, I suppose, for fixed expenses, you know, home, car, things that don't change, and how much goes out for variable expenses, things she has yeah. a little more control of. And then make sure that the $100 a month fits within the framework of that so that it's doable. In other words, if she arrived at $100 by saying, gee, I'd like to save $100 a month, but when she does the math of her cash flow and it's not there to be done, she's going to feel like she failed. Ah. Mm -hmm. So important to identify that it's attainable, then you can work within, the, I hate to use so the maybe B word, the budget word. The budget. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe what you're saying then is once you check and see what you can do, maybe $50 a week is going to be a more attainable goal. If that were the case. Yes. Yes. Okay. Make That's it a stretch. Case. Make it a stretch. Yeah. Make it doable. It has to be achievable. Exactly. And what's going to happen is she's going to start to feel that success. Right. She's going to feel that forward momentum happening with her savings. And it's going to give her the empowerment exactly. and it's going to give her the motivation to continue continue to want to save. It starts with wherever you feel comfortable and leaning in. If it's $50, it's $50. And I want to ask you, because you, yes. we were talking during the break a little bit, and I mean, you've been in the, in, the, in the fitness industry a long time, fitness for women with shapes, mm -hmm. and you said the biggest problem that you think your members have is finding the time to get it done. Oh, I definitely think so. Someone said to me last week, they said, boy, I thought on January 1st I'd wake up and there'd be 25 hours in the day instead of 24 and I could fit my fitness in. And I think the biggest struggle people have today with keeping their resolution is that they can't manage it in to their daily life. So it's really important for them to find help. And help in management, managing right. the resolution into the 24 hours a day, I think is really, really important. I think people fail because they add things to their plate without realizing that, yes, they have the foundation, the value, mm -hmm. but at the top of the pyramid of success is about time management, and being able to fix, fit, fit it in. Fit there it is in on some a daily empowerment basis. in saying no sometimes. Yes, right. you know, and um, prioritizing. Um, yes, right? yes. And when you really do care for yourself, you really do love yourself. And not to talk about Oprah, but that's what she's talking about yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. loving yourself mm -hmm. you really do make the time for yourself mm -hmm. you make health a priority you make financial security a priority mm -hmm. well and, I, and I th I'm sorry I think that we were talking one of the top resolutions is finding balance and I think we're all kind of talking about the same thing on there mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So what, you say? what I was gonna say was that this would be an example in the case of let's say a mom for instance we know that a mom's plate is pretty full mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it would be going to the family members and and getting their support and saying this is an important goal to me just like in Sonia wanting to save $100 a month, she's a single mom, going to the people that you're involved with or part of your life every day and say, I want to set a goal that's important to me and I want you to help me and, and be supportive of it. Mm -hmm. And that speaks to what we were saying yes. earlier. Getting them to buy into yeah. it, absolutely. Um, and uh, if you can, you know, I just had a, a client uh, mention that she put hers on her bathroom mirror. You know, she's a little embarrassed to do that, but now her family's on board with it. And they're Good. actually trying to eat a little healthier themselves. We so, got a you robot know. on our refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> It says, get away from the refrigerator. <laughs> Try that too. I don't know. Steve by email says, uh, I have been keeping my New Year's resolutions faithfully for over 20 years. I realized that I had never kept a New Year's resolution. So my resolution that year was to never make a New Year's resolution again. And I'm doing it, doing it, being great at it. Okay. Sometimes maybe a resolution isn't the right right word to call it. It's right? a version to failure. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. And, and I have a little bit of a theory on that too. A lot of people, um, when they think of New Year's resolutions, they, they put them together in the same mindset that they would put a to-do list together. Yeah. Okay, there's not a lot of thought going on in the process. There's not a lot of time spent in deep self-reflection. Okay, and that's going to be the sticking part, uh, glue. That's going to be what's going to keep that resolution together, mm -hmm. you know. Well, you, and you, you also, I read something you said, you don't, don't make a to-do list, make a to-be list. Yes, yes, because to-do lists are often based on shame and guilt. 
both are very demotivating qualities. You can't build from that. You know, we say things hmm. like, oh, I should lose that 25 mm -hmm. pounds next year. Let me make it a New Year's resolution, you know, or I should start saving more money. Should, anytime we hear ourselves say should, we need to be careful. I agree. People say, I should get back to the gym in January, don't they? I should start yeah. up again. I yeah. should get out of debt. I, yeah. Yeah. I should. Essence, I should. I should. Yeah. I should. In essence, it's two voices going on in your head. Mm -hmm. One that says, yeah, this would be a great thing to do, and another that says, I'm not doing that. Yeah. So you have this sort of internal battle, and for the most part, people do what they want to do, not what they should do. And yeah, I'll, bet, I'll bet a lot of people come to you, and just as they do come to us, and say, I know I should be further along. I know mm -hmm. I should be in better shape. I know mm -hmm. I should have saved more. And those are all full of negatives. And I, I, the only thing I can say is, yesterday is in the archives. That's right. Let's right. start today right. and, and work toward it, our lives being and how Ed, we want them to be. And it's a self-to-self comparison. Absolutely. You know, try to keep, hey, I am one step ahead where I was last That's week, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't make it about somebody else. Well, this, you know? this is an interesting email we've gotten here from Chad. I keep a daily log and tell as many people as possible about the resolution. I people agree. that will monitor your progress, create your own resolution. Police. Police. Right. I guess that's, yeah. a, that's an accountability partner. So yeah, it's the same sure. thing. Yeah. And, uh, it, you know, it does help, though, to sure. write it down and, and put it somewhere where you're going to mm -hmm. see it every day. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think we all agree on that part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of the mistakes that people made this year is that they jumped back in with full force, again, trying to manage the time, doing the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. as they did last year. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of saying, I need a change, and it's the old, what we talked about, doing the same thing as last year and expecting a different result this year. Yeah. And I think in fitness, we're seeing so many new innovative programs coming on board that people can participate in. And I just think becoming aware of those programs is something that will really help them mm -hmm. keep their Take a break. When we come back, I want you to tell me some of those new okay, programs. Talk great. about some of those kind of things that might get somebody back uh -huh. into shapes mm -hmm. or any gym. We'll be right back.